So Lauren set up a sewing society in 2018 because she wanted to try and make sewing and dressmaking as accessible as possible to as many people as possible. Um, so she started looking at making kits where you could buy everything that you needed um, to make a particular garment. Um, and then she thought about doing tops tips videos to go with those and this whole kind of idea spiraled and now um, loads of customers buy our kits and we've got a great online community where customers support each other and share their makes which is really amazing how it's grown over the last few years. So with the Sewing Society, planning and sewing your own wardrobe has never been simpler. But if you are here for the first time uh, or you're new to Guthrie Ghana, you might be wondering what on earth the Sewing Society is. So with the Sewing Society, we launched two, two new um, dressmaking kits each month. Um, which have a so it comes as like a lovely little box where you get everything you need to make a particular garment um, so that could be a trouser it could be a coat could be a top dress we try and cover the whole wardrobe and we also uh, might sometimes do accessories as well so we do sometimes do bag kits with everything you need to make a bag um, so we've sourced all the materials for you we've thought about what things go together um, and alongside the kit so you get all those physical things you get the pattern and everything that you need for your size and then as well as that you get um, a top tips video done by Lauren where she talks to you about um, the, the garment and like tips for making it and loads of little extra details um, that are really helpful for making, making the project as simple as possible. So let's have a look at what you get inside the kit. So the kit here that we're looking inside is one for our Young Power Bag. Um, so that was a kit from April this year, 2024. Um, so you can see inside we've got the fabric and we've got, it comes with interfacing. We've got specialist foam that goes in that kit. We've got um, all the hardware. So it's got D-rings and snaps and sliders and a mag um, magnetic, slap, magnetic snap, sorry. And all those fun little details that come with it and the webbing and stuff. So we source all those things and give you the right amount so that you don't end up with loads and loads of waste at the end of your project um, and you're not worrying that you haven't got enough either. So we've got all of that comes handily in one box. Obviously you get a notions bag with your needles and things as well, perfectly matched thread already done for you and the pattern already printed out for you as well. So it's especially good if you're a little bit nervous of PDF pattern printing, then that's a job that's already ticked off your list. We've got the pattern, we've printed it out for you and it's already there within your kit. Um, and then you get a copy of the instructions digitally as well, but you can opt to have these printed out too as well if that would be easier. And then you've got everything ready to start sewing. And then so from everything provided in that kit, you get to make this beautiful bag. Ta-da, here's what I made earlier. Um, so yeah. Lovely. So we're here up in the studio at the moment, um, which is where we make a lot of the samples and we do a lot of the planning. Um, and we're going to give you a little bit of behind the scenes into how we put the kits together and how they come into being each month. And you can imagine that each kit generally starts with the fabric. So with this gorgeous stretch uh, velvet that we've got, when Lauren saw this, it was love at first sight. Uh, you probably know she's a bit of a fan of pink. Uh, anyway, but she also had a pair of ginger jeans that she made years ago in a needle cord in like a really similar colour uh, that she absolutely loved. So the idea to recreate a similar kind of trouser was born and um, that's how we came on to the Eleanor kits, so the Eleanor pants kits, which were kit in November last year. So then at the same show, she also saw this amazing knitted fabric, which we haven't really seen anything like before. On one side, it's got a really obvious kind of knitted texture to it. And it's much more dense on the other side. We've got a really good stretch. It's got wool in it, super warm and cozy, um, which was just perfect and screaming out for like a big cardigan. So that's why we chose the Sable Cardi from Style Arc. Um, which again was a kit in November and the colours also happen to go really well together with the trouser fabric. You can see the pink here is really really similar to the um, to the stretch uh, velvet that we've got so that worked really well. So these are two examples of times where we've seen a fabric and been like yes that's got to be a kit, it's perfect. 
So to try and keep each kit as special and unique as possible, um, when we're looking for fabrics, sometimes we'll work with the fabric um, suppliers or producers directly to get exactly the kind of fabric that we want. So it might be that um, we ask them to produce a specific colour of a fabric. So for example, the jacquards that we use for the um, Amelia bomber jacket, um, Lauren had really had an idea in mind of the certain colours that, that she wanted. So we got the supplier there to produce the fabric in exactly the colours that we wanted, um, which is perfect. It means we can put in the kit exactly the vision of what we had. Sometimes Lauren might even design the fabrics herself. So we've got here the Be Happy Blooms fabric in the teal that she designed for um, our birthday celebration last year which had in a few different colours um, and that again is something really unique that you know obviously you won't get anywhere else which is lovely that we can have something like that in the kit and we always keep a keen eye out as well for any dead stock fabrics that um, that we see because sometimes those can be quite unusual things that you might not normally find um, in, in, a, in a fabric shop if you were just looking normally in a fabric shop. So for example, the Mitchell trousers that we had back in September, they were wools that were dead stock and they were such a beautiful weight and really, really nice quality. And this one here is um, from our Strata kits. And again, this is a very unusual fabric. It's a, a viscose cotton mix, which has got woven sections into it with these flowers in. Um, really lovely and drapey and again just quite an unusual fabric that you might not come across all the time so a great one for us to be able to put in kits and to showcase there so when we're planning out the kits we want to make sure that we're being as fabric efficient as possible we're not giving you loads of extra fabric that's um, that you might not have a plan for or anything you've just got the right amount for your project so when we're planning them um, obviously the fabrics that we get might be different widths from what the designers um, specify in their instructions when they talk about fabric requirements. So we'll lay out the pattern pieces on the fabric to double check how much fabric should go in the kit to make sure that you are getting the right amount that you need um, for your size. So we try and plan all that out first so that we can be as efficient as possible with what we are giving to you. So obviously we've talked about fabrics, but what comes next, of course, is the pattern. Another very key element for your Sewing Society kit. Um, so one of the questions that we get asked most here at Guthrie & Garney is, does this fabric go with this pattern or does this pattern go with this fabric? So we've tried to take all the guesswork out of this, this question for you with the kits so that you can be confident when you're sewing something up, you know you've got the right kind of fabric, for this pattern and obviously you've seen uh, the samples as well so you know what the finished result is going to look like because obviously when you're making something um, when you've chosen the fabric it can be a bit of a sort of you can see it in your head sometimes but you can't always see exactly how it's going to turn out so that's kind of a nice thing that you can see what the sample is going to look like um, once you finish sewing it up. So obviously when we're planning the kits, we've got an idea of the type of garment or accessory we're going to do. So whether it's trousers, a top, a coat, a little bag maybe. Um, so we've got a bit of an idea of those kind of things, but then we have a look at what different patterns are available, what would work with the fabric. Um, so we're kind of looking at what works really well with the fabric. Um, when we're looking at different patterns as well, we're trying to make sure that we're choosing one with a, a really good inclusive size range as well, because some of the pattern companies unfortunately still have a very small size range. Um, we want to be as inclusive as possible with our kits. And lastly, of course, the pattern needs to be from a designer that's happy to work with us and to be part of the Sewing Society kits. After you've made up your kit as well with the fabric that comes with it, of course, that pattern is then yours to keep so you can make it again and again. Um, so it might be you've learned like a new skill when you've been making it. Maybe you've insert, in, inserted your first invisible zip and it's gone in beautifully and you feel really comfortable doing that um, and you want to have another go so you can use the pattern again, choose some different fabric and then you'll have a bit of a knowledge of what kind of fabric would work well with that pattern um, and then you can make it again in different versions or try out one of the different views maybe if you were kind of looking at that before as well. So whilst we love choosing the patterns and everything for the kits, we love to hear from you as well. So is there a pattern that you've kind of always wanted to have a go with, but you've been a bit unsure of what fabric would work well with it? Or maybe there's a technique that you're a bit nervous of, um, that you'd like a bit of guidance on how to do it. Anything like that, you know, a pattern that, um, that yeah, it's just caught your eye and you think, oh, I'd love to give that a go, but I'm just not sure. Um, and that would be great for a sewing society kit, because then we can kind of give you those extra 
bits of advice and choose the right fabric and everything for you um, so if there is something like that a pattern that's like a you know would be a dream kit for you then just pop it in the comments below because we'd love to hear from you and we'd love to hear what that might be so talking of techniques one of the great things about the sewing society kits is that of course they come with Lauren's top tips videos so these aren't exactly a sew along but they're a video where Lauren talks you through um, the construction of the garment, talking about some of the tricky bits, um, also like some extra bits as well. We always try and include in the videos something that's like an extra learning point that maybe you wouldn't definitely get just from following the pattern alone or necessarily, you know, going on, along with the sew along. So maybe we try and show you like a little different way of doing things or like a close up on on how to, to do something like that. So you've always got those videos that come with the kit that you can watch as many times as you want. You can speed them up if you like to race through things, if you really want to slow it down and take your time, or if you really want to follow um, what Lauren's saying about when she's demonstrating a certain thing in the video, then you can slow the video right down as well. If you click on the little cog at the bottom, you can change the playback speed, um, and then you can slow it down and really see step by step um, what she's doing as she's talking about a certain technique. So you've always got those videos that come with the kit and obviously using the fabric as well um, that's in the kit so you, you know it's the same thing that you're working with as well at home. So you've got those videos to watch again and again and you can use them with different projects. Um, but if you have missed out on buying a kit but you've got a pattern and you like those top tips because who doesn't like a tip? Um, then you can always buy the videos separately as well. So if you go to the Sewing Society section of the website and there's a video section and in there you can buy any of the previous kit videos by themselves. So again, you get all Lauren's wisdom and advice. And it's like having, well, it is someone that's already sewn something before um, who can just give you those little bits of extra advice. It's almost like having someone make the toile for you. We've done the hard work for you so you don't have to do that bit. You can just get straight on with the fun bit of making. So with the Sewing Society kit, obviously you get everything you need in that box to make your garment up. Um, but as well as the kits, if you want, then we've got the opportunity to engage with our online community. So we have a private Sewing Society Facebook group, which once you buy a kit, you, you can join the Facebook group. Um, and that's just a really nice space where people like to share their makes. So you can see things made up on lots of other different people. And they sometimes maybe they do with the little adaptions and things. They have extra tips as well um, that they share. So you can always join that as well if you want to um, check out what other people are doing. It's always so lovely for us to see as well, you guys posting your makes in the Facebook group or on Instagram, um, because we love seeing how you've had success with the kits and seeing how pleased you are with making them up. That always makes us really happy. So I hope you've enjoyed watching and finding out a bit more about the Sewing Society and how it all works. Hope to see some of your makes popping up in our socials soon.